Next on BGSU Brain Game, Evergreen versus St. Francis. I think we better get ready for a bodacious brain brawl. Only one team can leave victorious. Who's it going to be? Only one way to find out, and that's BGSU Brain Game starts right now. Welcome to BGSU Brain Game, Evergreen versus St. Francis. Let's meet our team, starting off with St. Francis. Tell us who you are. Hi, I'm Justin Dries, sophomore. To my right is Frank Schuster, senior. And to my left is the freshman, Jordan Easton. All right, welcome to St. Francis. Uh, real quick, who are you coached by? And we are coached by Mrs. Haley Sharp. All right, welcome to you. Evergreen, tell us who you are. I'm Jacob Goodson, senior. To my left is Ethan Grasser, a freshman. And to my right is Caleb Grasser, a junior. All right, and coached by? Bill Blanchon. All right, welcome to Evergreen and St. Francis. This is the toss-up round. There are 10 questions in this round. They're worth 10 points apiece. No deduction for an incorrect answer, so you can relax, enjoy yourself, be a little bit looser on your buzzers. You may confer before buzzing in, uh, and you can steal a question in this round. All right, Evergreen, St. Francis, here we go. Jump in when you know the five-letter noun described. Name for a group of rhinoceroses a sudden, that would be evergreen. Jacob. Pack, sorry. Incorrect, and time. And a sudden and plunging downswing in the stock market and a critical malfunction of one's computer. St. Francis, would you like to steal? A virus? That would be Justin. A virus? Incorrect, a crash. When Charles Darwin explored the Galapagos Islands abroad, or excuse me, aboard the HMS Beagle, what name did he give the book he wrote detailing? That would be Evergreen, Jacob. On the origin of species. Correct. What six letter adjective that begins with an S describes processes in science that can be arranged from greatest to least or slowest to fastest? That would be St. Francis Frank. Scalar. Uh, we'll accept that. We cannot accept that. Evergreen, would you like to steal? That will be Jacob. Scaled. Incorrect. Cereal is what we needed there. These cellular organelles use peptidyl transferase when reading messenger RNA. That will be Evergreen, Jacob. The ER. Incorrect. By what name are these small structures that synthesize proteins known? That will be Frank. Ribosomes. Ribosomes is what we need there, correct. First, authorized in 1792, this reserve group was an outgrowth of the volunteer militia. By which two-word phrase is this? St. Francis, Justin. Merchant Marine. Incorrect. Is this organization known that is composed of members of units from each U.S. state? That would be Evergreen Jacob. National Guard. National Guard is what we needed there, yes. What was the name of the Civil War battle fought between the Union's General Grant and Confederate General Lee in the tangled Northern Virginia brush? From That would be St. Francis Frank. Battle of the Wilderness. Battle of the Wilderness, correct. Which type of judicial body consists of 12? To, that would be Evergreen Jacob. Grand jury. Grand jury, yes, to 23 people. Each winter, this New York Center's plaza features an ice skating rink. Evergreen, Jacob. Rockefeller. Rockefeller Center is correct, yes. Dr. Pangloss, the embodiment of optimism, who insists that we live in, quote, the best of all possible worlds, end quote, was created by which author of Candide? That would be Evergreen, Jacob. Voltaire. Voltaire, correct. What is the more common name of the largest member of the dolphin family that includes Shamu? That would be Evergreen Jacob. An orca. I'm sorry, incorrect. And whose scientific name is Orsinus orca? That would be St. Francis, Frank. Killer whale. Killer whale is what we needed there. Uh, all right, that is all 10 questions in this round. Let's take a look at our score. Very close competition indeed. St. Francis at 30. And currently in the lead with 50 points is Evergreen. You're going to want to stick around because our risk and reward round is coming up next. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to BGSU's Brain Game. St. Francis 30, Evergreen at 50 points. Uh, Evergreen, looks like you have uh, brought a new player on board. Uh, and you'd like to introduce, please. To my left is Josie Blanchard, senior. Welcome to you. St. Francis staying with their lineup from the last round. And of course, welcome to all of our returning players. This is the risk and reward round. Both teams, you're gonna receive the same nine questions. They are worth 10 points apiece and uh, there was no deduction for an incorrect answer. The 10th question is the risk and reward question. You will be able to risk up to 30 points in five point increments based upon a topic that we give you. You get it right, bonus points. You get it wrong, deduction, non-answer, deduction. If you don't like the topic, you can simply pass and walk out the door with the nine question. All right, St. Francis, you're at 30 points. Evergreen, you're at 50. Evergreen, you will be sticking around. That means St. Francis, out you go, off to isolation. All right, Evergreen, are you ready for your risk and reward round? Yep, yes we Here are. Here we go. This two-time unsuccessful Democratic candidate for U.S. President in 1952 and 1956 served as governor of Illinois from 1949 to 1953, and then fulfilled the role of U.S. ambassador to the U.N. from 1961 to 1965. Name this man with the initials A.S. That would be Evergreen. Jacob. Stevenson. Adley Stevenson. We will accept that. Identify the poet who penned these lines. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching or cool one pain. That would be Jacob. Allende. Incorrect. Emily Dickinson is what we needed there. In the sentence, on Wednesday, we attended the ceremony for Mark's promotion to lieutenant. What is the correct spelling of the word lieutenant? That would be Caleb. L-I-E-U-T-E-N-A-N-T. Correct. Determine the largest prime factor of the number 690. It is also the positive square root of 529. Uh, I'm sorry, not in time. 23 is what we needed there. By what name is the boundary line at either end of a tennis court known? That would be Jacob. Fault. Incorrect. Baseline. Multiple choice. During the Baroque musical era from 1600 to 1750, which Italian composer created the Four Seasons? Was it A, Giuseppe Verde? Was it B, Giacchini Rossini, or C, Antonio Vivaldi? That would be Evergreen. Jacob. C, Vivaldi. Vivaldi is correct. Located west of Italy and southeast of France, this fourth largest island in the Mediterranean was the birthplace of Napoleon. Identify this island. That would be Jacob. Corsica. Corsica is correct. Who won an Academy Award for Best Actor in the 1972 movie, The Godfather. That would be Jacob. De Niro. Incorrect, Marlon Brando, Marlon Brando. Identify the element in the halogen family with the highest electronegativity. That would be Evergreen, Caleb. Fluorine. Fluorine is correct. Risk and reward time. Our topic is South America. 30 points, five point increments, or you can pass. 30 points. 30 points, South America. During the 18th and 19th century, which Venezuelan leader was known as the George Washington of South America? That will be Jacob. Bolivar. Bolivar is correct. 30 points for Evergreen. That is the end of the risk and reward round for you. It is now time for you to head off to isolation. All right, let's bring back in St. Francis. Welcome back, St. Francis from isolation. I hope it was wonderful and everything you hoped for. Uh, all right, St. Francis, are you ready for the risk and reward round? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. This two-time unsuccessful Democratic candidate for U.S. President in 1952 and 1956 served as governor of Illinois from 1949 to 1953, 
and then fulfilled the role of a U.S. ambassador to the U.N. from 1961 to 1965. Name this man with the initials A.S. Adley Stevenson. That would be Justin. Adley Stevenson. Correct. Identify the poet who penned these lines. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching, or cool one pain. Dickinson, maybe. Dickinson? Maybe. That would be Justin. Dickinson. Dickinson is correct, Emily Dickinson. In the sentence, on Wednesday, we attended the ceremony for Mark's promotion to lieutenant. What is the correct spelling of the word lieutenant? That would be Justin. L-I-E-U-T-E-N-A-N-T. -E -E that is correct. Determine the largest prime factor of the number 690. It is also the positive square root of 529. 23. Was it 13? That would be Justin. 23. 23 is correct. By what name is the boundary line at either end of a tennis court known? A fault line? I think so. That would be Justin. Fault line? Incorrect. Baseline. Baseline. Multiple choice. During the Baroque musical era from 1600 to 1750, which Italian composer created the Four Seasons? Was it A, Giuseppe Verdi, B, Giacchini Rossini, or C, Antonio Vivaldi? That would be Justin. C, Vivaldi. Correct. Located west of Italy, the south and southeast of France, this fourth largest island in the Mediterranean was the birthplace of Napoleon. Identify this island. That would be Justin. Corsica. Corsica is correct. Who won an Academy Award for Best Actor in the 1972 movie, The Godfather? Marlon Brando. Brando. Yeah. That would be Justin. Marlon Brando. That is correct. Identify the element in the halogen family with the highest electronegativity. Its atomic number is nine. That would be Justin. Fluorine. Fluorine is correct. Risk and reward time. The topic is South America. You can risk up to 30 points in five point increments, or you can pass. What do you think in St. Francis? We'll risk 30 points. We're gonna risk 30 points, all right. During the 18th and 19th centuries, which Venezuelan leader was known as the George Washington of South America? Bolivar. Go for that. That would be Justin. Bolivar. Correct. 30 points. All right, that is the end of the risk and reward round for St. Francis. Now time to clear our score, and let's bring back in Evergreen. All right, let's reveal our scores. St. Francis stands at 140 points. Evergreen stands at 130 points. Both teams are swinging for the fences and doing well. Anybody's game. Things are getting very, very exciting and just starting. Coming up next is our category round where things can change very quickly. We have questions worth up to 30 points apiece and deductions are gonna start. You're gonna wanna stick around. Stay tuned. Category round coming up next. Welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. Evergreen 130, St. Francis 140 points. Both teams have elected to stay with their lineup from the last round, so we're going to move right into our category round. This is where the power shifts a little bit to our teams because there are six categories from which they can choose. Questions worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. But I must warn you, that's right, I must warn you, deductions start now. So if you go for 20, you're actually risking 20 points as well. There is one double or nothing question hiding in there. You may confer before buzzing in and you can steal a question in this round. Evergreen, since you were at 130 points, you get to make the first selection. Star Wars 30. Star Wars for 30 points. Who is the first order supreme leader in The Last Jedi? That would be Evergreen, Caleb. Darth Sidious. In Correct. St. Francis, would you like to steal? That would be Justin. 
Kylo Ren. Incorrect. It's Snoke. Uh, Evergreen still in control. 25, same category. Star Wars, 25 points. Who had Han Solo in chirogenic form hanging? That would be Evergreen. Jacob. Jabba the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt, indeed. Ubidibida Han Solo. <laughs> All right, uh, Evergreen, still in control. 20 Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars, 20 points. What was Kylo Ren's real name? That would be Evergreen. Jacob. Ben Solo. Ben Solo is correct. Evergreen making a move. 15 Star Wars. Star Wars now for 15. Darth Sidious was Rey's grandfather and also known as Emperor St. Francis Frank. Palpatine. Palpatine is correct. St. Francis takes control. Polygons 30. Polygons for 30 points. Correctly identify each of the following associated with polygons. Name of the perpendicular segment drawn from the center to a side of a regular polygon. That would be St. Francis Jordan. Apothem. Correct. St. Francis in control. Math, 25. Math, polygons for 25 points. Name of the segment that joins non-consecutive vertices in a polygon. Time, there'll be a diagonal. St. Francis in control. Math, polygons, 20. Math polygons now for 20 points. Name for a polygon with 12 sides. That would be Evergreen. Jacob. Dodecagon. Dodecagon is correct. Evergreen snatches back control. Currencies 30. World currencies for 30 points. I will read the name of a country. You are to identify the unit of currency that is the official one for that country as of 2022. You need not preface the unit with the name of the country. The unit euro is not included. And no unit is named more than one time. Okay. The country for this one is Denmark. That would be St. Francis. Justin. The kroner. Excuse me? Kroner. Kroner. Will we accept that? We cannot accept that. Evergreen, would you like to steal? Time. It's not the kroner, it's just the crone. Just the crone. Uh, Evergreen in control. Same 25. World currencies for 25. India. That would be St. Francis Frank. Rupee. Rupee is correct. St. Francis snatches back control. World currencies 20. World currencies now for 20. The country is Egypt. Time. The official currency is the pound. Uh, St. Francis in control. Math polygons 15. Math polygons for 15 points. Name for a polygon with seven sides. That would be Evergreen Jacob. Septagon. Incorrect. St. Francis Jordan. Heptagon. Heptagon is what we needed there. Heptagon. St. Francis in control takes the lead. Math polygons 10. Math polygons for 10 points. Name of the segment drawn from the center to a vertex, oh, that would be St. Francis Jordan. Radius. Radius is correct, St. Francis in control. Begins with me for 20. Begins with me for 20 points. Based on the given definition, identify each vocabulary words that word that begins with the letters M-E, me. Adjective, meaning of, relating to, or appropriate for a servant especially a tech. That would be St. Francis, Justin. Menial. Menial is correct. Yes, St. Francis in control. Begins with me, 25. Begins with me for 25 points. Inner courage drawn up to carry on despite difficulties. Time. They say that person has metal, M-E-T-T-L-E. -T -T -E. St. Francis in control. Same category, 30. Begins with me for 30 points. A strange or diverse collection of people or things. That would be St. Francis, Justin. Medley. We will accept medley, yes. St. Francis in control. Begins with me for 10. Begins with me for 10 points. A list of foods and drinks of, that would be St. Francis, Frank. Menu. A menu is correct. Finish it off. Finish it off. Begins with me for 15 points. To make repairs to, 
That would be St. Francis Frank. Mend. Mend is what we needed there. St. Francis in control. That finishes off that category. Native Americans for 10. Native Americans for 10 points. Identify each person, place, or idea from Native American history. Region of South Dakota sacred to the Sioux. That would be St. Francis. Justin. Black Hills. The Black Hills is indeed correct. St. Francis in control, making a move. Native Americans, 15. Native Americans for 15 points. Flat, Ro end of round. Let's take a look at our score. We have Evergreen, 150 points. Currently in the lead with, is, with 260 points is St. Francis. Though coming up next is our brainstorm round where questions are worth 20 points apiece. Negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. Still anybody's game, stay tuned. A bodacious brain brawl indeed. Evergreen 150 points, St. Francis 260 points as we go into the brainstorm round. Uh, before we do that though, Evergreen, you do have an additional player. Who is that player? To my left is Sophia Goodson, freshman. All right, welcome to you. And St. Francis staying with their lineup from the last round. All right, this is it, brainstorm round. All questions in this round are 20 points. Negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. You may confer before buzzing in, but no stealing. I repeat, no stealing in this round. Here we go. Anybody's game. In the words omnipresent and omniscient, what is the meaning of that would be evergreen? Jacob. All. All is correct. In biology, what type of cell division results in four dot? That would be evergreen. Jacob. Meiosis. Meiosis is correct. In the sentence, out the door ran the mouse, what word functions as the object of the preposition? That would be St. Francis. Justin. Door. Door is correct. Mary flips a coin three times in a row. What is the probability that heads will land side up every time? That would be St. Francis Frank. One eighth. One eighth is correct. Identify the arachnid whose bite can result in the development of Lyme disease. That would be evergreen. Jacob. Tick. Tick is correct. Of the following adjectives, which one is not a synonym of the others? Small, gargantuan, that would be St. Francis Frank. Gargantuan. Gargantuan is correct. Among the layers of the earth, which one contains the most volume and is separated? That would be evergreen. Jacob. The mantle. Mantle is correct. Complete the title of the Roland Dahl sequel in 1964's Charlie and the Chocolate Fact. That would be evergreen. Jacob. Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. Correct. Complete the following analogy. Tony Award is to theater as blank is to television. That would be Jacob. Uh, Emmy. Emmy is correct. This geological principle assumes that the oldest layer of rock appears at, that would be St. Francis Frank. Law of superposition. Correct. Which South American nation that borders Argentina and Brazil has its capital? That would be Evergreen Jacob. Paraguay. Paraguay is correct. A rod or shaft around which a wheel or gears that would be Evergreen. Caleb. Axel. Axel is correct. In Vatican City, which famous basilica? That would be Evergreen, Jacob. St. Peter's Basilica. Correct. In geometry, what is the name for any line that intersects two or more distinct lines? That would be Evergreen, Jacob. Secant. Incorrect, transversal. Which series of legislative acts were passed by parliament during, that would be St. Francis Justin. Intolerable acts. Incorrect, quartering acts. In the film 2001, A Space Odyssey, this planet is the dest that would be evergreen. Jacob. Mars. Incorrect. Jupiter. Stocks of companies that are industry leaders are known by what colorful phrase? That would be St. Francis Frank. Blue chip. Blue chip is correct. Name the pigment that protects skin from damage. That would be evergreen, Jacob. Melanin. Melanin is correct. Let's take a look at our score. St. Francis with 340 points. Evergreen with 310. Our winner is St. Francis. Let's give both teams a big round of applause. In the spirit of good sportsmanship, let's come out, meet in the middle, shake hands. We'll see you at the next BGSU Brain Game.
Ube Dibe Dahan Solo. 